This is Sports Center Live. And that is how the celebration went down in Spokane, Washington. Does it get any better than that? Look Careful. at that. Careful. Don't, don't jump. <laughs> uh, it was hard to see, but right in the corner, there was a, a big Jesus there. All, all West Coast up. Jesus. West Coast Jesus. Uh, this is East Coast. Chris Hassel, East Coast, Diane Rossini, and this is a live edition of Sports Center. Hello, everyone. Could be an all-Pacific Northwest championship game if Oregon comes back in the second half and beats Carolina. They're down at the half. Gamecocks were down at the half, like they have been many times in this tournament. Gonzaga behind Nigel Williams-Goss would take a 14-point lead with just under 11 minutes to play. But back come the Gamecocks. South Kakalaka going on a 16-0 run. Chris Silva plus the foul. And then defense to offense. Sendarius Thornwell had an off night. There's 15 points, averaging 25 coming in. It's a big three here to cut it to six. And then P.J. Dozier ties it up. South Carolina would actually take a one-point lead. Beg your pardon, two-point lead after trailing by 14, but Gonzaga would hit a big three, and then Shemit Karnowski, the big man, would come through in a big way. Got poked in the eye in the first half, had to leave. I wondered how effective he could be coming back. Couldn't see much. Could see the hoop when he's that close to it. Nigel Williams-Goss would miss. Could have given Gonzaga a five-point lead in the closing second. So Frank Martin draws up a play. Unfortunately, Gonzaga would foul before they would get a three-pointer up. Make the first, miss the second. Big rebound by Killian Tilly, and even bigger free throws on the other end to make it a four-point game and put it out of reach. South Carolina showing hard, coming all the way back to take a lead, but Gonzaga, too tough. 37 and one again the lone loss in the regular season finale at home to BYU this team hasn't lost at all away from the kennel this season and they've got one more to go will it be against Carolina North Carolina or Oregon Frank Martin so close to a championship game very very emotional in the press conference after coach first of all congratulations on an incredible season there are a lot of kids back home in South Carolina who were cheering their hearts out for you today. They dream of playing for you one day. What do you want to say to them as fans of you and the team and also about how to respond to disappointments like this? Um, There's something powerful when you impact others. And what these kids have done is pretty special. Um, when you get people to travel across the country by the masses because they believe in what you do, uh, it's powerful stuff. And they've impacted our community in an unbelievable way, which is worth so much more than the score of a game. Um, it's what it's all about. These kids are great role models. There's a lot of young kids that want to be the next, and there is Thornwell, Justin Mackey. I don't get to coach him anymore, but but they're part of my life forever. Right, Martin won over a lot of uh, college basketball fans and sports fans. There are going to be a lot of kids that, that want to play for that guy. Certainly cares about his kids, and his kids came through on points off turnovers. Look at that 15 nothing. South Carolina outscored Gonzaga in points off turnovers, but it did not translate into a victory. Mark Few on to the championship game in his first Final Four appearance. 
Uh, I don't know that I could make a, a statement that would sum up, A, how I feel, <laughs> and uh, B, to describe that game, man. Just an awesome, awesome basketball game with just how hard uh, both teams competed. Uh, I mean, that run South Carolina made on us, that just shows, you know, just the heart of, the, of a lion uh, that they have, that, uh, you know, that Frank instills in them, that they get from him. And uh, I mean, it took everything we had to, to hold them off and come back. And I, I was really, really proud of our guys, our late game execution. I mean, again, we only played an 11 seed because they had to beat higher seeds. So, I mean, we can't control, you know, who we played. Um, Obviously, I mean, these teams have all beaten really good teams. You look at the teams that uh, Xavier beat, you know, from down the line, Arizona, Florida State, Maryland, South Carolina beating Baylor, Duke. So, I mean, no one's here by accident. And I said all four teams are, are more than deserving, and you got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, they came out here and competed like we knew they would. Um, so, again, I, I think the respect thing has to go out the window. I mean, at 30, you have 37 wins in a college season. I mean, that's just unbelievable. And uh, to be playing the last game uh, of the season, you know, we have a chance to play for it all, and, and we're here to win it. Gonzaga does not have to apologize for the road it has taken to get there. Gonzaga, one loss all season. <laughs> Unfortunately, one loss not kind going into the championship game. If history is any indication, the previous three teams to go into the title game with one loss, all lost for a second time. Hmm.